Hey guys, this is Kyle from Techlingo and we've got something crazy and fancy looking on my desk right here. This is called the Deviele Phantom Reactor and not only does it have a cool name, it has a really unique design that you have never seen before. Now what if I told you guys that this is actually a wireless speaker? Now this right here is the Phantom Reactor and it definitely <laughs> feels solid. Now to be exact, this weighs about 4.3 kilograms and it's of course to be handled with care. You might think that this look really small but I guarantee you it packs a punch. Now the model we have right here is the Phantom Reactor 900 and that is 900 watts of power. Now you can also opt for the smaller 601 uh, but Deviele has kindly sent us the Phantom Reactor 900 which we have been you know playing around over the past two weeks so we'll be telling you uh, more about it in this full review. Now our experience with the sound quality of the Phantom Reactor is definitely superb. So you can actually start to appreciate your music a little bit more with the Phantom Reactor. Uh, you start to hear uh, the different frequencies that you never really paid attention to when you're actually listening on your conventional earphones or your existing speakers in your house. Uh, you start to appreciate the music a little bit better and definitely a different listening experience. Now of course, since you have the high frequencies right smack in the middle, what we noticed was that uh, if you're listening directly in front of it, uh, vocals tend to be really clear and crisp. Uh, everything is really sharp. Uh, you actually have your high frequencies right smack in the middle. So as two separate low frequency speakers on each side. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about um, sound in general, uh, high frequencies, they tend to go a uh, really straight direction uh, compared to lower frequencies, which will kind of uh, go around in an omnidirection, more of like a 360 output around. So you don't necessarily have uh, to have the low frequencies pointed directly at you to be able to hear or even feel uh, the sound. The point that we're trying to get is that since this is a single speaker, uh, you know, having to listen to a stereo one like your in your conventional speakers where you have one on the left and the right, uh, this definitely feels a little bit different from uh, at least from what I'm used to as well, uh, since it's only coming from a single source. Now let's start by looking at the top. You actually have a few touch capacitive buttons here. Uh, you have the Bluetooth button for you to actually enable pairing as well as the uh, volume buttons on each side and right smack in the middle is the play or pause button. Now the far right button over here is actually the pair button so we'll be going uh, more detail into that later on in the video. Uh, now let's have a look at the back of the device. You also have a bunch of ports down here. You can actually choose to plug in an auxiliary port using a 3.5 millimeter jack or a LAN cable for you to get it connected through your home uh, internet connection. And of course your power source and the power button which uh, if you actually follow the manual closely there are a bunch of different presses that you can do to actually wake the device or to reset it. Now let's talk about the different ways you can connect to the Phantom Reactor. It does support Wi-Fi, so uh, you simply just head over to the app, which is pretty well designed by the way. Just follow the instructions and uh, when it's time, you actually uh, be notified to press the link button again, which we mentioned previously. That's it, you're connected. So. Uh, what's so great about connecting the Phantom Reactor over Wi-Fi is that you start to have support uh, by using your Spotify app or even Apple AirPlay. So you're easily going to be able to play music directly to this device uh, as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection at home or if you would like to take it a step further, you can even connect it to the LAN port at the back. So uh, you have the best internet connection to this speaker. Now, of course, you can also connect the Phantom Reactor through your Bluetooth connection, just like your regular Bluetooth speakers. Uh, but of course, you actually have to go through all the manual pairing process. Now, one more connection type supported on the Phantom Reactor is the auxiliary input at the back. So that is using your regular headphone jack. So if you want to connect it to your TV or to your computer, you simply just get a 3.5 millimeter cable on both ends and just simply plug it into the device at the back. Now, there is a slight delay that we have realized if we're connected through the auxiliary input and that's only if you're actually watching videos. If you're listening to music, uh, this doesn't affect you at all. Uh, so what we realize is that there seems to be a slight delay in terms of, let's say if you have someone speaking on video and if you really pay close attention to uh, the speaker's 
uh, mouth, you know, it doesn't really match up with the audio that we're hearing that is coming out of this speaker. Uh, funnily enough, there is an option in the app settings on your phone that you can actually toggle to kind of reduce this uh, possible latency effect. So uh, our best guess here is that there are some digital processing that is going on inside the Phantom Reactor, possibly to give you a better sound experience. So only if you're mainly using this Phantom Reactor for you know, watching videos or having it connected to your PC or your television, uh, then we only recommend you to actually head on down to your settings, you know, try out this option to see if you actually notice uh, any difference. But of course, if it doesn't affect you in any way, uh, I guess that's fine as well. Now, in conclusion, the Phantom Reactor is definitely not an ordinary Bluetooth speaker. You know, it's in a premium price range and it's probably targeted at users who are actually serious about, uh, you know, sound quality in their homes or even in their offices uh, is definitely going to be something that is eye-catching uh, you know if people are looking for uh, well-designed speakers you know in terms of looks uh, you know when you have guests over uh, they're not going to be just walking and walking past it you know they're definitely going to be attracted to this product and they're definitely going to be asking questions about what they can do and you know having a listen at it so it will be a great conversation starter you can get the Deviolet Phantom Reactor now in Singapore. Uh, the 600 watts model is going for about a thousand eight hundred and ninety Singapore dollars, while the 900 watt version that we have here is going for about two thousand three hundred and ninety Singapore dollars. We hope you've enjoyed our full review of the Deviolet Phantom Reactor. Feel free to leave your questions or suggestions down in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest tech reviews and recommendations right here in Singapore. This is Kyle signing off.